frustrated about. You, you didn't believe you could do it anyway. Bottom line, dissatisfaction is all about belief. The exception to the rules is if you truly believe you can have something, but you still don't want it. For example, I could go out today and buy a bass fishing boat. I have the money, I have a house on the lake and a dock to put it in. I just don't want it. Fishing doesn't turn me on. This is the exception to the rule. The point is to carefully examine what you are really thinking and what you really believe about what you want in your life. Most people won't take the time to do this. Only the champions and future champions. That's why we call them the great ones. Okay, so once you've determined what you're dissatisfied with and wish to change, the next step in the formula is creating your ultimate vision for your life. Without exaggeration, this may be the single most important thing you do on the road to world-class success. It's a technique I learned from some of the greatest champions I've worked with, interviewed, or coached. It's your blueprint to the future. It's your crystal ball and your genie in a bottle all in one. I have to take a quick time out. When I return, 10 questions that could not only change how you see yourself, but also have a huge impact on your future. We'll talk about it after the break. Thanks for sticking around. I'm Steve Siebold, your mental toughness coach. Before we go forward, remember, I'm not a motivational speaker trying to pump you up with a lot of hyperbole. Show after show, I'm going to give you the mental toughness secrets of the world class. Some will be life-changing, others will be powerful, but smaller in scope, and I'll let you know which ones are which. Some I'll offer as an option because they work for some people and not for others. I make my living training the most street smart, highly educated sales forces in the world. And if I don't deliver mental toughness strategies that work on the street tomorrow, <laughs> I'm gone. None of what I'm teaching you is theory. It's all been tested and proven from Main Street to Wall Street. That's where I live every day. My point is, is that not all of the mental toughness secrets are equal and the vision process is the foundation of them all. So please take this exercise seriously. It's a monster. Before you begin writing out your vision, I want you to answer 10 very important questions as a precursor to the vision process. These questions are designed to clarify what's important to you before you draft the vision masterpiece that will alter your destiny forever. Here are the 10 questions. Please write these down. Number one, what are the three most positive experiences of your life? Number two, you're on, an, you're on an airplane that's about to crash. You have 30 seconds to write a note to your infant son or daughter about the three most important things you've learned about success in life. List these three things in the next 30 seconds. Number three, as a child, describe how your parents, family members, and other significant adults of influence made you feel about yourself. Number four, list the three biggest heroes in your life and why you admire them so much. The next one is a big one. Write your obituary the way you would want to read it as if you had already achieved your dreams. Number six is, it's the year 2098 and your great-great-grandchild has to give a speech about you. What would you want him or her to say? Number seven, what does success mean to you? Number eight, what accomplishments are you most proud of and why? 